back and back, back and back. And then coming in and squeezing your chest together, back and forward. Keep your shoulders down and back and then flattening out. So it's a cat-cow action, just in the standing position. Don't curve through the back. Slight bend in the knees, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Down, squeeze, and up. And two, and two. Now going back to the other side, hinge forward, three rows, one, two, three. Try and keep your leg up if you can. Other side, raise, two, three. One more each side. Single, single, double. You're hinged over, but not all the way. Single, single, double. Single, single, double. So make sure your shoulders are pressed down and back and you are focusing on the in, left, right. Make sure your chest comes all the way down. You're looking ahead of you. Don't crane your neck to look at me. Single, single, double. You try to come out quite wide with your arms and don't rest on the bottom. Just come down and tap. Single, single, double. Two more like this. Sing Breathe through it. The emphasis is on the squeeze up. Squeeze up. Squeeze your chest. You're scooping up diagonally across and double. In that chest area, that's what you're doing. You're squeezing as if you've got a ball in between your elbows and you're trying to squeeze the air out of it. Keep your shoulders down and back, your tummy pulled in tight, nice and high. Really nice and high. Keep it, keep the tension in there. And really pushing against that knee and looking towards the back wall. We work both of them. And then just other side, creating your shoulder blades. And then behind and lifting up as high as you can. And other side. And there you have it, old school chest and back with a little bit of a Linda twist. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to working out with you again soon.